It's Tuesday, February 12th, 2019, and today Adobe updated Lightroom Classic CC, Lightroom CC, and Adobe Camera Raw. In this video, I want to talk about this update. Now, with the update, the version of Lightroom Classic CC we're referring to is version 8.2, the version of Lightroom CC is 2.2, and the version of Adobe Camera Raw is 11.2. Now, as far as the update itself, it is kind of the typical update where it has new support for cameras and lenses. This update offers faster tethering for Nikon cameras, and it has a new feature, and that's really what I want to talk about in this video. The new feature is called Enhance Details, and specifically what they say is Enhance Details of your RAW images. So that's important. It only works on RAW files and it allows you or it helps you get higher quality and more accurate rendition of fine details in your raw images. Well, there's a little bit more to it than that. And in the description uh, below this video, I'm going to include a link to this webpage and to this webpage, which gives a little more uh, detail about ex uh, exactly what it means when it says enhanced details. It says, powered by Adobe Sensei, Enhanced Details allows you to achieve a crisp detail and proof color rendering in RAW files. Enhanced Details in introdu is introduced in Adobe Camera Raw 11.2. Powered by Adobe Sensei, Enhanced Details produces crisp details, improved color rendering, more accurate renditions of edges, and fewer artifacts. Enhanced Details is especially useful for making large prints where fine details are more visible. Now this is the important part. This feature applies to raw mosaic files from cameras with Bayer sensors that includes Canon, Nikon, Sony, and others, and Fujifilm X-Trans sensors. Now first of all, you Fujifilm users, many of us have complained that Lightroom really doesn't process Fujifilm raw files as well as, let's say, Capture One, which is another application that's kind of uh, Lightroom's rival, let's say. Capture One does a much better job overall of processing Fujifilm X-Trans sensors. At least many people feel that. With this new version of Lightroom and with this enhanced details option, what they're saying is you'll get better uh, edge detail, fewer artifacts, and color rendition when you're shooting a camera with a Fujifilm X-Trans sensor. Now the other sensor it's referring to is called the Bayer sensor, and it's not really the, the brand name of the sensor. What a Bayer sensor refers to is the actual layout and shape of the pixels, and it's uh, called a Bayer layout. And uh, most notably, Sony creates these sensors. They made many of these Bayer layout type sensors, and many people know Nikon uses um, Sony sensors in many of their cameras, especially their higher-end cameras, and um, Canon has some Bayer sensors in it as well, and apparently some other manufacturers use Bayer layout sensors. Now, to get to this feature, to use it, it's not automatic. You have to actually apply it to your image. Now, I'm going to start out in Lightroom Classic CC and show you how it's done here. And I'm also going to show you quickly in Lightroom CC. I'm not going to show you in Adobe Camera Raw, uh, mainly because this web page that I'm referring to explains how to do it in Adobe Camera Raw. So if you're an Adobe Camera Raw user, you could refer to this page. It's really pretty much the same way. It's just where the actual uh, feature is located in the application. All right, for this demonstration, I have this image here, and I found that you probably should do it on a raw image. First of all, it has to be done on a raw image. It won't work on TIFFs or JPEGs or any other type of image. And it won't work on raw, all raw files. There's specific uh, raw files that it will not work on. And it all is listed down here of uh, what type of raw files it does not work on. So you have to be on a raw file. And I found that it seems to work best, the little limited use I've done it, on a raw file that hasn't been processed yet at all. And it's probably something that you should do early in your workflow anyway. So we have this image. It's a totally non-processed 
RAW file from a Fujifilm X-T1. So it is from an X-Trans sensor. And similar to a Bayer layout, an X-Trans sensor uses a different type of layout for the pixels. The actual physical layout of the pixels. And that's, I think, where Lightroom had a problem interpreting those sensors and um, processing them properly. So, to get to this or to enhance the details of this image what you want to do is either in the library or the develop module you would go up to the photo menu and then you'll see right here is enhanced details you can see on a mac it has a shortcut control option i i'm not sure what the shortcut is for a, a windows computer but i'm sure it'll be listed right there so you could if you have a windows computer use the keyboard shortcut if you'd prefer so once you click on Enhanced Details, it will come up with this Enhanced Details Preview box. And it will take a second to render the preview. And it did right here. And what it's showing us is a, is a zoomed in view is somewhere on our image. And it's showing us this enhanced image now. This is the enhancement. If you want to see the basically non-enhanced version of this, just click anywhere on the preview box. So I'm going to click with the left mouse button and hold that button in. There's without enhancement. There is with enhancement. And you can see it is a dramatic effect. You can see especially right up in here, there was a lot of like pixelation and distortion on the edges. And now that's without enhancement. And there's with enhancement. Without enhancement. With enhancement. Now, it didn't do anything. It's just kind of giving you this preview. Now you have the option of applying it. Now, because, of course, Lightroom is non-destructive, it's not going to write anything to the original RAW file. It's actually going to create a new file, a DNG RAW file, in the same location as your original RAW file. So don't worry, it's not going to uh, write to that RAW file or do anything that's going to make it destructive. So when you click Enhance, and it's telling us it's going to be an estimated time of one minute. So we'll click Enhance, and you'll see up here in the progress bar that it's creating a DNG with enhanced details. Now since this is going to take a minute, I'll pause the video, and we'll come back when it's done. And you'll find that the enhanced DNG will be in the same folder as the original file. And in this case, I even have it in a collection, so it'll be added to this collection. Okay, it's done. It created the DNG file, and in the collection, you can see it's still selected on my original Fujifilm RAW file, but right next to it is the DNG file, and you can see it's got the same uh, beginning underscore DSF8399, and then it added enhanced to it, and of course, it's a DNG file. And you can see just, you know, flipping between the two, you really can't see anything, but maybe you'd see more once you zoomed in, which, you know, I'm not necessarily seeing anything at this zoom magnification level. But the idea is it's supposed to enhance details, and especially for large prints, what it said, you'll probably definitely see a difference on, especially what I found, the X-Trans sensor. It does a lot. Now, this next image I want to demonstrate, uh, this is an unprocessed RAW file, but it's a Nikon RAW file, and it's from a Nikon D800E. There is a difference but what I found, it wasn't as dramatic a difference. So um, we'll just do it real quick. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut this time. I'm going to hold the control key in, the option key in, and hit I. And again, that's because I have a Mac. I'm not sure of the keyboard shortcut for a Windows computer. And in anyone could comment below and just write what it is for the Windows computer. All right, now we have this enhanced version. Now... When I click down, you'll see just very slight pixelation repair, like right in here mainly. But it wasn't as dramatic as the Fujifilm X-Trans sensor. Now, if for some reason, when it comes up with this preview, if it's not zoomed in in a location you'd like it zoomed in on, you can simply just click and drag it around. It's going to have to go through its little preview again. Or down here, you'll see there's a little minus magnifier. Click on that and you'll zoom out. Then you could take the crosshairs and you could zoom in anywhere you'd like. So if you'd like to zoom in right there, you click and you could see right there. 
let it do its thing. Can't see much of a difference there in that location. Now I'm not going to enhance this one just because of the time constraint. So I'm going to click cancel. Now I do want to show you a couple more. This is a Fujifilm X-Pro2 camera. And the Fujifilm X-Pro2 camera is um, uh, a newer model than that X-T1. So I'm going to go up to photo and then down to enhance details. And once it renders the preview, we'll take a look at that. And you'll see it's a, it's, it is more dramatic, I believe, at least in my limited use with the X uh, trans sensors. There's before and there's after. Now that's not necessarily any better, although it did seem to clean up that edge a little bit. But you could come in like on a part that is more important. Let's say right there. There's before. Oops. Kind of rendering again. Before, after, before, after. You can see it's now <laughs> I would say on perfectly honestly, it's changing. Whether it's improving on this image, I don't know. It's definitely different, but whether or not it's actually uh, any better or not is open for debate. You can see there's definite change there. Now I'm not going to do this one either. But I will do real quick, I want to show you, is it will do batches. So let's say we'll take all three of the raw files, uh, not the DNG file, even though DNG is a raw file. I'm not going to click on that one. I'm going to click on these three so we have them all selected. So we could still then go up to photo and we could go to um, enhance details. And then it will come up with three photos will be enhanced. Uh, enhanced details will be applied to three photos. Re running re enhanced details with multiple photos selected will skip the preview dialog. So it's not going to show us a preview. It's going to just automatically jump in and start enhancing these photos and create. Now in this case, because I selected three, it's going to create three DNG photos to go along with these images. So it will do batch enhancing. So that's good. Another thing you could do if you know that preview dialog, if you just want to skip that all together, you just want to automatically enhance the image. Go up to that top photo menu, and instead of going and just directly clicking on enhance details, hold the shift key in when you're hold when you're um, clicking on enhance details. When you hold the shift key in on in do it, you'll see it's automatically creating the DNG with enhanced details. Yeah, so we bypass that preview window. Now I mentioned I wanted to show you how this applies to Lightroom CC as well. There's a little caveat with Lightroom CC. If you use Lightroom Classic CC and you get your images into Lightroom CC by using a shared collection, meaning you have a bunch of images that you want to process in Lightroom CC, but you're in Lightroom Classic, they're in your Lightroom Classic CC catalog, and I covered this in the Lightroom CC video series. You could create a shared catalog that will um, upload the images to Adobe, and then they'll be shared with your Lightroom CC. When you do it that way, those images that get uploaded aren't the actual RAW files, they're actually smart previews. And Enhance will not work on a smart preview. So if you look at this image, and I click the information bar, you'll see that it's showing it's a raw file, but it's actually a smart preview because that's the way I got it loaded into Lightroom CC. I did it through Lightroom Classic CC. So if I go up to Photo, and in this case it's down towards the bottom, Enhance Details, you'll notice it'll come up with a warning. It's an unsupported photo. It's telling you it's a smart preview, so it won't work. On the other hand, if you have an image that you actually went through the import process inside of Lightroom Classic CC, like you actually imported it, like I did this image. So this image is an actual um, raw file, not a smart preview. And if we go up to Photo and down to Enhanced Details, You'll notice it's going to be quite a bit smaller. It says it's generating preview up here um, in the left-hand corner. And it takes quite a long time, I found, to generate the preview. And it's probably going to take a little longer now. Oh, no, this one's done. 
this is done. So there's our enhanced image over here in Lightroom Classic. And now it's coming up with this enhanced details preview box. And it's the similar thing in that um, you have the preview here. If you click on it, it will show you it without enhancement. Let go of the left mouse button with enhancement. You could drag it around. There's also a little minus magnifier here, so you could zoom out and then click on an area that you want to zoom in on. And in this case, uh, this was shot with a Nikon D850, and I found that every image I tried with my Nikon D850 didn't show any dis difference at all, nothing. So I don't know, maybe the Nikon D850 does not use a Bayer sensor. I, I did a Google search, and I couldn't find anything definitive on the sensor that's in the Nikon D850 if it's the Bayer layout. I saw a couple websites said it was, and I saw a couple websites said it wasn't, or you know, said it was something else. So it, that's what I found. Also, I should add that I've, I have about 1,000 images from Sony cameras in my Lightroom library. I shot with a Sony um, S2 and an S, uh, or an R2, both those cameras. And I didn't see any differences with those sensors either. Um, and I thought for sure those were Bayer sensors, but I saw little to no difference with those sensors. But don't let that dissuade you from trying it out. Maybe it was just the images I happened to try it on. So I'm going to cancel that, so we're not gonna bother doing that. But that's this new enhance feature. And as I mentioned, I think it's a little more dramatic with the Sony or with the Fujifilm X trans sensors than it is with that Bayer sensor. Um, hopefully, especially you Fujifilm users that have um, the opinion that Lightroom doesn't like process the X trans sensor raw files as well as it could, hopefully, this will help. Uh, process them better for you. That's it. Thank you everyone for watching my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.